Um, when I was first introduced to clay through a college course, I just connected with medium. I'm drawn by that, you know, various stages of clay, the endless possibilities of its forms and surfaces. I, I love it. As a visual artist, the vessel um, speaks for me. I created, you know, um, my desire is to create a language in order to, fil to facilitate an analogical conversation conversation. And I do this by synthesizing my media, which is porcelain, and the process in order to just promote a dialogue. And each work becomes a dialogue, a dialogue that begins with me alone, the artist and the clay, just quiet, reflecting, um, holding, shaping, throwing, tearing, analyzing the shapes as they become form. Um, I, you know, I'm just drawn to the classical form because I feel like um, that speaks of our common humanity, yet I like to manipulate that form and tear it and push it because that speaks more of our individual experience through the juxtaposition and the tension that's created through that juxtaposition of beauty, fragility, and resilience, pushing limits, um, displaying movement, uh, incorporating time and history of experiences, the vessel emerges and in porcelain. I think the vessel itself, you know, invites and encapsulates the viewer into its story. We use vessels for so many things. They're, you know, they're, they're almost a picture of us as a person. You know, a vessel is named like the body is named. And um, it becomes a really nice dialogue without being too literal between kind of what's happening in our hearts and in our minds and the things that shape us through experiences and without being so... Um, just in your face about it. You know, we all have experienced um, a story that shaped us through loss, through disappointment, through pain, and it's interwoven with joy and with fulfillment. And I think for me, I love the vessel form and that manipulation and that ripping and the tearing because it speaks to um, humanity and my own humanity and how I want to hide my misshapen and awkward pieces. I'm afraid that I won't be loved if I'm fully known or if I'm fully seen, but that's not true. You know, I am fully known and I am fully seen. And through just my life, I've just learned to treasure the process that kind of the touch of God has put me on in my life. You know, he he's, uses these experiences to draw me closer to him and his love for me. And um, I realize he's always present and he's actually turning me, myself, into a vessel, you know, for the display of his glory as he just rips me open. And at the same time, he brings me joy. And so there's lots of direct analogy between my work and myself and life. Some of my work is open and like you have a, you know, one of my favorite pieces there, that small open piece. And um, to me, it, it's, it looks, it's called freely given. And I think it looks like a piece that receives and gives at the same time. You can't tell what it's doing. Is it taking in or is it giving out? And I love the upward movement in that piece because it just, um, it just, it just really encapsulates what my work is about.